So the first implementation that we are going to discuss is a naive string matching algorithm and we have already seen a simple implementation of the naive string matching algorithm in the last video. Uh, now in this video we are going to make a programs uh, to implement this naive string matching algorithm. Right, so we will be making the function, assuming the function is uh, make it naive. So naive, naive the function is naive and this function should take two strings as input. So uh, in C language, this uh, strings are implemented as array of characters, as we know. In Java and in .NET, the strings are implemented as classes. But here, strings are implemented as array of characters. So we have to take those array of characters as input. We have to take those two strings as input in this uh, in this given function, and then uh, we can find out what is no what is that string. Okay, so we can just take those. Uh, assuming that we are also going to take the length of those strings as well as what is the string itself. So we are going to character. Uh, the first is pattern, or let us say character star text, and the second is pattern. So character star pattern. Okay, and then the length of this string. So integer n, which is the length of the string and. Uh, length of the text and integer m which is the length of the pattern okay so we have uh, now we have taken the inputs as text as input pattern as input the length of uh, text is input and length of, length of the pattern as input now we have to use a loop to find out their length so as we know so just for the implementation purposes uh, just let me just explain it again uh, that we are going to have an entire string like this and if this string can have any characters, it may be A, B, C, A, D, A, C, something, anything, right? So it may be having any number of characters here, uh, like H, right? So this is representing the text, and the length of the text is N, and we may be having a pattern. So assuming that this is representing the pattern, which is having A, B, A, C, and D, right? And this is representing the pattern. Now we need to find whether this pattern is present inside this text as a substring or not. But here in this case, wherever if this pattern is present and wherever this pattern is present, we are going to return the index locations of those places, right? It may happen that uh, the pattern may be repeating multiple number of times. So we may be we will be returning the index locations of those uh, starting index location of those, those locations where this exact pattern is present inside this text. So if the length of the pattern is n and length of the text is uh, length of the pattern is m length of the text is n so we have to search in this text uh, and we have to go through in the naive string matching algorithm we have to match with every index locations here and in worst case we are going to match with n minus m plus 1 locations so we will be having a loop which is going to run n minus 1 uh, n minus m plus 1 times so we will be taking integer for integer i is equal to 0 and i less than n minus or less than make it less than equal to n minus m so because if you are going to make n minus m then obviously uh, because i is starting from 0 that is why it is going to run n minus m plus 1 times so either we can make i less than n minus m plus 1 okay so this is uh, how you can write so you, uh, you can either you can make i less than n minus m or you can less than equal to n minus m or you can make i less than or less than n minus m plus one so both the implementations are fine and every time you are going to implement the value of i correct now here we need to uh, find uh, the implement the next loop which is the j loop which is for the pattern that uh, every time you have to compare the pattern from the text Okay, that we have already seen the implementation, right? So we are going to take the next loop, which is for integer j is equal to zero, and this j should be less than m. So we have to make j should should be less than m because j should run for the pattern, and the length of the pattern is m, and we are going to make j plus plus, and this time, if if in this place we can say. Uh, text of i plus j is not equal to pattern of j that means if they are not equal then we are going to break 
okay so this is the first condition that we need to write down uh, okay this is the condition right so this is what we need to write for this loop correct so and if after this loop if the value of j is equal to m that we see found the pattern j is equal to m then print f pattern found at the index location which is printed by percentage d comma slash n comma i so this is a very simple implementation of this one okay let me let us first check whether it is working correctly or not uh, we are going to take two characters so, uh, two text so character assuming uh, we will be having let us take 20 index locations and uh, let us assume then text stored as my name is Himanshu so how many characters are these there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and base is 20 so there are 20 characters okay uh, make it this much of this so there are yeah, there are 20 characters and then we have to take the text that we need to find out so character how many characters are there assuming that we are only trying to find four characters so this is the text and this is the pattern character pattern and here it will be assume HIMA so we need to find this one okay so we are going to pass it to this function which is nave and here we'll passing the text will be passing the pattern will be passing the length of the text which is 20 and the length of the pattern which is 4 and now we are going to implement this function we are going to see whether it is working or not so we are going to build and run so there is an error here so let us find out what is error. okay so error is because j is only present inside this loop so i have to make integer j here if you make integer j here then correct now let us again try and run so you can see the pattern found at index location 11 and the data which is present at index location is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so right so index location 11 h is present so uh, this entire pattern is matching what if the pattern is not matching so we can say else if the pattern is not matching that we are not doing anything correct so if the pattern is present multiple times what happens if the pattern is present multiple times and every time the pattern is present we are going to print the starting index location of those patterns okay now what we'll be doing is we'll be taking a huge data set maybe we'll be having a total 10,000 character set and in those 10,000 in, in an array of 10,000 we'll be trying to find out whether a given pattern is present or not and every time the given pattern present we are just going to print the index locations of those patterns okay so for simplicity uh, first of all we'll write a function where uh, we are going to declare an array which is having 100 index locations and then inside that array of having 100 index locations we will try to insert some values okay and those values will be randomly generated characters and we are going to use those values to uh, you know come uh, find out a given pattern in a randomly generated text okay so for that we have to limit the range of a uh, of the uh, of this function which is the rand function so let me do one thing i'll just do a simple quick google search about finding out what is uh, how to limit the range of a rand function so how to limit the range of a rand function in c so this is a very simple code actually you just have to find what is the maximum range you want what is the minimum range you want so it should be somewhere so we have to find yeah so this is the code that we'll be using to limit the range of the rand function so i'm just going to copy it here and let us uh, make changes into this function so i'm declaring a character text which is having 200 index locations and in this character we are going to make a for loop to insert random values so for uh, integer i is equal to 0 i less than 200 and i plus plus and we are going to insert values here so to insert values here so text of i we are going to make 
82.2 this okay where the maximum value that we want is 90 because sky value of z is 90 and minimum value is 65 and here also minimum value is 65 so because we know the sky characters uh, the sky value of capital A is 65 capital B is 66 in the same way uh, capital Z is 90 so we are putting some uh, random values inside this text and assuming that we want to find GATE if this is present in it or not gate as a uh, text okay so we'll be looking at this now we are going to again build and run so it is saying that it cannot find the character which is gate right so it is working correctly i hope so let us do one thing uh, we are going to print all these text values also uh, maybe i can also do a printf function here printf uh, we are going to say okay so printf we are going to find percentage c comma text of i that is whatever the values we are inserting we are trying to print those values okay now we are going to again build and run the program you can see uh, this is the text that we inserted this is the entire text that we inserted in, in, into the array and we are trying to find out whether GAT this pattern is occurring in this text but you can see this pattern is not occurring in this text now let us do one thing let us increase the size of this entire uh, pattern make it 2000 so we'll see in 2000 text uh, can we have a gate as a text so you can see again in 2000 locations we cannot have we don't have this pattern which is gate maybe in 20,000 we can find it so if we have a pattern which is of length 20,000 can we find a four combination character which is GATE so you can, again so we cannot find it so this is 20,000 characters here but anyways you know how we implemented this function we can take any combination of characters and see if it is present so let us assume we want to find out Z double E W so Z double E W if this exists as a pattern or not so again build and run so you can see pattern found it index location 4500 so at 4500 if you see this code uh, this entire text so at 4500 index location the pattern which may be present okay so we can take any random text like this and we can find out whether this pattern is present or not in the same way uh, if for large data sets maybe you are having a data set which is having trillions of uh, characters or billion millions of characters in that way maybe it, it will become easier to find a given data set okay so this is a very very simple implementation which is the naive algorithm and by looking at this naive algorithm you can find out what is the time complexity of this function okay so what is the time complexity of this function uh, you can see this loop is going to run order of m times and this loop is going to run order of n minus m plus 1 times Therefore, the time complexity for this naive function is order of n minus m plus 1 into m. So, this is the time complexity of the naive function. Now, to improve, improve this time complexity, we introduced the other, other function, which is uh, the function for, uh, that is the rabin karp algorithm. So, rabin karp algorithm reduced some changes in the naive algorithm to improve it. Okay. So, in the next video, we are going to study about the rabin karp algorithm. So, in this video, we just implemented the naive function. Okay. So let us move on to the next video now.